I want to talk about a product I've been using for over a year now, and I love. Oh, I can't get enough, get enough. Don't ever let me be away from you. I'm gonna hold In this video, I want to talk about the Nissi filter system. This is a square format filter system with adapters to use on your camera. I'm going to share why I love it, why I think it's better for some of you than a few circular filters, and why I think it's better than the Lee system. Hold you tight, hold you tight. How can I tell you what I want to do? The Nissi filter system is a kit. It costs $180 for the latest V5 Pro Edition. That gets you this handy leather carrying case, the main adapter ring and an integrated circular polarizer, the actual holder, which can hold up to three of the square or rectangular format filters at a time, and a bunch of adapter rings to be able to use this system with a variety of lenses starting at 67 millimeters on up. And this is actually one of the things that caught my eye when I was first shopping for a filter system. When I'd priced out the Lee system, and I actually had been offered a review unit early on that I took to Iceland about two years ago with the Lee unit, it was a little confusing to me to figure out exactly what I needed. With the Nissi, you buy this kit, and you've almost definitely got an adapter ring in there that's gonna work on your lens. I love this sturdy little non-flexible leather pouch that this all comes in. Keeps everything nice, safe, and protected, and it's very easy to access and very quiet to access, which sometimes when you're out shooting early in the morning in these very serene settings, you don't want Velcro or other noise. There's this little soft magnet that keeps it all closed. The only downside to this though is it can feel and be a little bulky sometimes when I wanna travel light, but that's a trade-off for making sure that my filters are safely and nicely protected. What also appeals to me about this system is that you have an integrated circular polarizer. 90% of the time when I'm using these filters, I'm photographing water and I want a longer exposure. Along with that longer exposure, I also want to often cut reflections and glare. And this circular polarizer will do that and it's built in. So I don't need to add anything else on top. It's extremely thin. It is very high quality and you can still rotate it through the use of these tiny little dials embedded on the side, even after you have filters on the front. Now the filter holder itself is made of machine grade aluminum. Is that a thing? I might've made up the machine grade part. It's made of high quality aluminum and I know that it's very sturdy because I'm sad to say that twice now why this system has been on my camera, I've set my tripod up in not the most secure way and it's fallen either on the edge or you know, side of this filter system, and it's completely fine. I've got a little nick in one of my filters now, but it optically doesn't affect anything. For those of you who've been aware of the earlier version, one of the biggest complaints of the earlier Nissi filter holder system was how hard it was to slide the glass plates in and out. This has been corrected in this new V5 Pro version, and I can say that it firmly holds stuff in place, but you don't feel like you're gonna break the glass. It easily slides in or out. I'm gonna to have to move in a minute because of the tide creeping up behind me. You can fit multiple filters in this holder up to three. One of the things that that gives you is a great amount of flexibility to use a graduated filter, darker at the top, clearer at the bottom. So you can slide this through and determine exactly where you want that gradation to have. It's fantastic for instances when you're shooting at the beach or the water where you have a very straight line. They offer soft, very even edged graduations. They offer medium ones and then also hard ones. And I saved the most important fact for last about the Nissi filter system and that is quality. Not only are you not gonna get vignetting like you would if you stacked several circular filters on top of each other, but you also have fantastically crisp and clear glass. As I said, I've been using these filters in my camera or on my camera for the last year now and have pixel peeped at a lot of images I've been really proud at and see no serious degradation of quality and no color casts, none really to speak of, maybe tiny bit of warmth coming from the circular polarizer. Whereas when I use the Lee filter system, they have a heavy cool or blue cast to them that I don't really care for. And yeah, that's correctable in Lightroom if you're shooting raw, but I really like the fact that there isn't any color cast and coming straight out of the camera is what my eyes saw. So that was probably the most important fact and I saved that for last, but 
I love the quality of these filters. Overall, I really have no complaints about them. I'm going to list below what I think you should pick up because you don't get any of the square filters with this. You just get the holder, as I said, the circular polarizer, the adapter rings, and the nice carrying case. I think you should add a six stop ND and a soft or medium graduated filter like this, for depending on whether you're shooting a lot at the seashore or in the mountains. That would factor in. I'll write up my thoughts on that down below and you can see that gear that I recommend, plus all of the gear I recommend and the stuff that I use to shoot these videos is linked right down below. If you've got any questions about the Nissi filter system, you're welcome to leave those comments down below too. I'm happily to answer any that I can. Thanks so much for watching and if you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done that. Bye bye. Shoot.